Hello and welcome. My name is Kylie Bartlett, the host of the Web Celeb TV show, the world's first web TV show dedicated to helping entrepreneurs create buzz, build a brand and get celebrity results in their business. is called being remarkable and are you being remarkable online now humans absolutely crave authentic connection and attention I mean social media is a great example of how much we crave interaction and communication with fellow human beings Facebook 450 million users and I say that at any given moment half of them half of those 450 million users are online the thing is though that you might have had a unique selling proposition or a unique product or service when you first started your business but now because of the internet what used to be unique is now becoming pretty much the norm so in order to stand out in a crowd you need to be truly remarkable now I've borrowed the term remarkable from Bill Halligan and Darmish Shay who have written a book called inbound marketing. I'm going to talk a little bit about them later on but I just wanted to acknowledge the two gentlemen for the term remarkable that I'm going to be talking about on this week's episode. So what I'd like you to think about is ask yourself this question what is it that you're remarkable in? So what are you the best in the world at? And if you can't answer that question then I encourage you to start niching and niching and niching down what it is that you do for a living until you come to a niche that you can dominate and own and be the guru or the expert in. Because if you're too broad and too uh, wide in your niche there is a lot of competition online that could come along and gobble up and take over your market share. So once again let me ask you that question, what are you remarkable in? And what are you the world best at? And if you can't answer the question, start to brainstorm and come up with some, some ideas that you could become the owner of in the niche. And so I have a saying, and I, I've learnt this from many of the, the big gurus in marketing, and it is about being an inch wide and a mile deep in your niche. So let's say, for example, that your niche is working with women that have low self-esteem. Now that is a really long, mile long niche. And so what I would do there to bring that niche back to an inch wide and a mile deep is that it's now women over the age of 45 that have recently divorced and are now single mums raising teenage kids. Can you see what I just did there? Rather than taking women and low self-esteem, I've now niched it right down to women over 45 recently divorced with teenage kids that are now raising their children as single mums. And so by having that inch wide niche, you can now add the mild depth into it by uh, offering products in personal development, maybe cooking for teenagers, travel de destinations, dating advice, weight loss advice for single mums. As you can see, the list can go deeper and deeper as long as that you're only an inch wide when it comes to your niche. And so the reason why I call it, uh, well, Bill and Darmish have spoken about Remarkable is that the word remarkable, if you break it down, it's remark. So are you providing great products and services and content on the internet and online that people would remark on or be happy and positive to remark on what it is that you're talking about? So that's what I'd like you to start thinking about. Your content and what it is that you're producing online, would you remark on your products and services? Would you remark on your articles or blogs or videos? And so that's the angle that I would start, I would like you to start to think about. And that is around creating remarkable products and services and remarkable content. Now, some people have said to me, well, this whole marketing world, it's so confusing. Where do I start? Well, I recommend that you break up your activities in business 50% as being a marketer because without marketing we, we don't have traffic and we don't have potential customers but the other 50% is on creating remarkable content. Now it might sound like it is time consuming and it can be if you don't know how. 
So my recommendations around creating remarkable content is start to work out how you can repurpose what it is that you are producing online. And what I mean by that is, let's say for example that you uh, wrote a white paper. And generally speaking, a white paper is anything from sort of five to 10 pages in length. And it might be a case study. And so you take that white paper and you repurpose it into an article. And then you send the article out amongst the article submission websites. And then you could turn that article into a blog that you put on your blog or your website. And then that white paper could also be uh, a video script. So you could turn it into a video. And then you could strip the audio of the video and turn it into a downloadable MP3 file. And then what you could do is combine the white article with the video and create a home study guide. Or you could just put the video out on podcasting or on iTunes. So there's about six or seven different ways that you can take one piece of remarkable content and repurpose it six or seven ways in order to cut down the, the time required in creating remarkable content and varieties of remarkable content. Now, the reason why you want remarkable content is that you want to get two bangs for your buck. First of all, you want to be able to deliver great remarkable content so that people are attracted to come to your blog or your website. So targeted people, targeted fans that are going to repost or comment on your article. And so by doing that, you're getting all these links back and forth onto your blog site and onto your website. And secondly, is that the more links that you're getting back and forth to your website, the higher up the Google rankings that you will go. And this is all done organically without paying for it. So there's your two bangs for your buck. Create remarkable content so people are reposting it and, and retweeting it and referring to it and linking back to your website. The more links back and forth, the more that you will go up the, the Google rankings. And that's exactly what you want. When people are searching on your niche, you want your website and your blog to be on page one of Google. And this is a great way of doing it by creating remarkable content. Now, I also wanted to talk about um, you've got to give to get. And what I mean by that is that you've got to come from an abundance mentality on the internet. And, and, in, and really not just the internet, in business in general. Some people have this scarcity mentality where they're holding back their treasured, prized strategies or tips and only giving it out when people pay for it. I'm going to ask you to be counterintuitive with this one and give out your biggest nuggets, your best gems, your biggest tips and secrets and strategies for free because what will happen is human nature, human behavior tells us that the more that you give, the more people will ask you to do it for them anyway. So just remember that. Don't be afraid that by giving things away, then you've got nothing left to sell to people because if you're giving remarkable content, remarkable tips and secrets and services, I can just about bet your bottom dollar that if people love it, they're still going to contact you and ask you to do it anyway for them. I'd also like you to think about moving beyond the width of your wallet to beyond the width of your brain. In other words, what used to happen 10 years, 10 years ago is that you would have to have thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars in your wallet in order to be able to effectively market online. Now, these days, it's not about the width of your wallet and how much you've got to spend. It's actually the width of your brain. In other words, what kind of remarkable content do you have up here that you could be typing up or putting on video or audio and getting it out there to your raving fans? And look, at the end of the day, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for targeted raving fans of people that love what you do and want to work with you.